Okay, so this is a great question from Ed. He's asking, what's y'all's opinion on 4K? Sorry, I dropped something. <laughs> anyway, I saw your video and someone had asked you and you're answering your own question, which is fine. Opinions on 4K. Now, as you can see, I'm a physical media collector. As you can see, predominantly what I own is plain old DVDs, right? I don't own 4K. I don't own Blu-ray. The reason I don't own Blu-ray is because I don't have a Blu-ray player. So, um, a couple of years ago, at the time, people I knew were buying Blu-rays, but they were like $10, $20 more expensive than an average DVD. And now, when I go shopping and look for DVDs for me to buy, I do see 4Ks, but they're like 50 bucks more expensive than a Blu-ray. So, that's going to equate to what? Nearly 60 70 close to $100 more than a DVD. Because I don't have a Blu-ray player, I don't have a 4K player, though I'm not sure if that's technically the same thing as a Blu-ray player. I don't know. I, I still like my good old-fashioned DVDs. You also mentioned in your video that, yes, they are expensive. And another thing is, I know you said you're from America and I'm from Australia. So finding DVDs, 4Ks and Blu-rays may be a little bit different to you guys compared to us. I know for me, if I go into a store like Target or Kmart, they don't have squat. Uh, Target has like a bare minimum shelf of just plain old DVDs. They don't have Blu-rays, they don't have 4K. Go into Kmart, you got nothing. Kmart got rid of their DVDs. Go into Big W, they've only got plain old DVDs. And that's, pardon me, a bare minimum of DVDs. Go into somewhere like JB Hi-Fi or Once Existed Sanity, they would have 4K, they would have Blu-ray, they would have plain old DVDs. But it would you could see the price differences and i know at gb hi-fi specifically i'm pointing them out they've got a dvd section they've got a blu-ray section and they've got a 4k section their 4k section is half the size so smaller than a blu-ray section their 4k section from my point of view is probably like ooh, probably like that shelf and that shelf combined just like those two shelves combined so it's pretty tiny, but they still have 4Ks. When I look at the price of 4Ks, and it's not something I do a lot because I don't buy them, I notice how expensive they are. Um, and it is, as you mentioned there, you said that 4Ks are going to be more of a collector's item rather than a physical media person who's going to watch their stuff. And I think to an extent you are right. You're like, you look at the prices and you look at the comparisons on what you get in a Blu-ray compared to a DVD compared to a 4K. Like you get trailers, you get additional content, commentary, you get this and that. Compared to you look at some of the DVDs they know, I own on the back of it, you don't always get commentary. You don't always get uh, special features. You, d you don't always either get trailers, so it all just depends. Um, I know a lot of people, when I buy DVDs, a lot of my friends are like, why? You get nothing on it. It's just a movie. And I'm like, yeah, but it's not just a movie. It's my life. Like, cool, a commentary is great, but 9 out of 10 times I don't always watch the commentary unless I want to learn something new, which I do sometimes because I learned a lot watching Insomnia. Um, other times I'm just like, yeah, just let me watch the movie. Um, special features are great, but again, it's like, I don't always watch special features unless I want to. But like, I think 4K will probably last as long as Blu-ray, and Blu-ray's been around for a couple of years. They're going to last as long as DVDs, and they've been around for a couple of decades now, right? So, I think it's just going to be an interesting cycle in general to see where DVDs go. Because we are taking this switch of like, okay, well, DVDs will eventually phase out. And people want to go streaming services, but obviously with the strike going on, we know what streaming services are doing. So what are audiences doing? Like even with the way that streaming services are changing their layout, Netflix cracked down on their passwords. Disney Plus is up to their pricing. So thank you, Disney Plus, because now I can't afford it. Um, you know, so like it's going to get to the point where people are like, I, I, I want to go back to collecting these bad boys. I, I, I need those because it's cheaper and, and that sort of thing. But I don't know, it's going to be a very interesting thing to see what happens with 4K in general.